Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we are learning about a very hyper and active clownfish that is great for a reef tank. They are called the Spotsinctus clownfish. Prices on them, you'll spend about 40 bucks. Tank size, you need at least a 30 gallon. Care level, super, super easy. Temper, they can be semi-aggressive. Clownfish do tend to get very territorial over spots once they get comfortable in a tank. Especially if they're in an anemone, they will protect that thing with its life. Reef compatible, definitely. Temperature, keep it 72 to 78. DKH, H12, pH 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. Diet, they are omnivore. They'll eat pretty much anything. Mainly they'll eat, they love eating mice, brine shrimp, stuff like that. But I have had times whenever we put algae on a clip for the tangs in the tank, and that dude will run up there and snack a piece off for him. Max size, I can get a solid five inches. That's a pretty big clownfish. I mean, really look at five inches. That's huge. Biggest ones I've seen is a solid three inches. They were big old fat boys. Compatibility, just ask. I would definitely recommend getting multiple of them. They seem to do a lot better whenever there's a group of them in a tank. They seem to live longer. They're more happier. They stay active. They're always out and doing good. Uh, if you want a like, choice, I would say three. Get at least three of them. But if not, get at least two. A pair of them will do really good. I've actually seen a pair of them lay eggs together. It was a really cool experience to watch. Color is that nice orange, red, yellow kind of all mixed in with the red stripes. I mean the white stripes going down them. Origin, they are captive bred. We do not catch these guys in the wild anymore. So if you do want him to host to an anemone, the best way to do it are bulb anemones. Just for some reason, we have had the best luck with them to bond to. They seem, because with them being captive bred, it's not in their natural instincts to say, hey, I need to be in that anemone. So it's not in their right mind. But you can definitely try to get them in one, and bulb anemones are the way to go. If you got to pour them in, Pour him in towards that anemone and maybe he'll go right to it. That's everything I got to say. Like I said, he can become territorial once he's comfortable in a tank. So watch out for that whenever you're adding new people. Make sure he's not going chasing after them and pecking at them. But other than that, that's your spot. Synctus clownfish. They are very pretty, very cool. Hope you all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Enjoy the day. Make some dreams come true. And I will see you all later.